Hey, it's Josh Rossi. Welcome to another Photoshop Dad tutorial. Now in this tutorial, we are gonna be creating some really cool lightning effects on this image that went viral not too long ago. This something I did with my daughter was featured on People Magazine. And the biggest question people had was, how do you create the lightning on this image? So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now, if you wanna follow along, just click the link below and I'll actually send you all of the assets and all the files to follow along for the lightning and the backgrounds and all that. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, open up your file and it's gonna be split up into two different pieces, the model and then the background. And then you're gonna have all these lightning effects over here. So first thing you wanna do is bring in your lightning, let's, let's see here, let's bring in lightning seven. Just drag that over on top of the image. Okay, make sure this is on top of everything. And you're gonna always want to um, title these. So I'm just gonna call it L1 for lightning one. And then hit command T to sort of shape this. And what I'm gonna do is I, I want to sort of follow the curve of the arm right here. So also I wanna make it a little bit bigger, follow the curve just like that and hit enter. Okay, so now what we wanna do um, is create a mask over the top of this. And the reason we're gonna do this is we want to get rid of all these sharp edges right here. You know, you don't, you don't wanna see that box. So go to your brush over here and make sure you're on a black brush so you can hit um, you know, you can switch to black or you can just hit X on the keyboard and it'll switch your colors. And then we're going to paint out it about, let's do 100% opacity and you really want to feather this just right around there so you're getting rid of all those harsh lines. Just like that. Make sure there's no harsh lines anywhere because that's the worst. If you, don't, if you don't do this initially then you can run into trouble later. So, okay, once you do that, you're gonna go on, make sure that you're, not, you're clicked on the actual file and not on your mask. So click on that layer right there and go down to a screen blending mode. Now what screen blending mode does is it's basically going to um, bring forward the, the brightest colors and it's going to cancel out the darkest ones. So right here, we're sort of seeing like a big blur, which isn't good. So to fix this, we're gonna go down here to our adjustments and go to a curves adjustment layer and make sure that it's a clipping mask. So hold on, option or alt. We're going to bring down the dark. See how it's it's showing just the, the lightning here, right? So it's getting rid of that haze, that nasty haze. And then we're gonna bring this up to showcase that lightning even more. Something like that. See how we've done that? Okay, so now let's actually place this a little bit better on the image. I'm gonna make it, hit Command T. We're gonna make this a little bit bigger. And I'm gonna sort of have a follow the, the curve of her arm right here. Something just like that. Okay, so that's our first layer. And also zoom up. I would suggest masking out things initially before you move on to the next layers. Like you wanna mask out some of this stuff that's in front of her face. You know, over here on her neck, that's fine. But just mask out stuff that's in front of her face. Make sure there's no weird lightning bolts going like out or in weird places here. Like see, this is going a little bit too far this way. Something like that, okay, great. All right, so now we're gonna bring in our next piece, which is going to be, let's see, where's it at? Lightning five, and let's focus on the other arm. So drag that in, bring that over the top of everything. Make, make sure it's its own layer and it's not a clipping mask. So there you go. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna hit Command T and we actually wanna, I'm actually gonna flip this because we wanna follow the curvature of the arm. Something like that looks actually pretty good. A little bit bigger. Hit enter. And then zoom up here, do the same thing. Let, let's call this, let's call this L2 just so we stay organized. Click right here to make it a mask or to put a mask on it. And then we're gonna go over to our brush and paint out all of these harsh edges over here. So I'm just gonna go really, really quick. Just painting out these harsh edges. And then I'm gonna make my brush bigger. You wanna paint out as much as this is possible and still make it look good. So th this is probably good just right there because you do want some sort of haze around there. You don't wanna like, you don't wanna do this. You don't wanna go in like that necessarily. I usually feathered out about that much. Um, and I'll show you why in just a second. 
and make sure to get rid of all these really sharp edges over here, something like that. Okay, so once you've done that, same thing, we're gonna go down to screen blending mode. And I'm actually gonna copy down this curves layer so I don't have to do it again, it's just a lot faster. I'm gonna hold down Option or Alt, copy it down, make it a clipping mask. So see there, bam, it's just a way to move a lot quicker. So now for placing this, let me show you what I wanna do here. So I want the tip of this lightning to come straight out of her hand just like that. So I'm, I'm placing this based on her hand. I'm gonna hit Command T, I'm gonna turn this a little bit. Once again, placing it right there. So see, I'm still focusing on the, the curve of her arm, but the main priority is that it's <clears throat> coming out of her hand right like that. Okay, so then the next thing is we're going to warp this because obviously this doesn't look too good. So let's go up here to edit, transform, and warp. Zoom up here. And you want to just warp this. I'm actually going to follow sort of the, the curvature of her shoulder here if I can. So I'm gonna grab this little thing. You know, th this is just up to you how you mess around with this. Warp, the warp tool is pretty like wacky sometimes, you know, you can, you can warp stuff like crazy, but then if you warp it too much, then it starts looking a little bit weird. So try to keep the proportions good. Okay, so this is looking great there. Something like that, hit enter. That is a really good sort of lightning bolt right there. Now, one thing you could do, that there's a few things to making lightning look good. So obviously this, this looks okay, um, but we want to copy this up. So I'm gonna hit shift to select all those layers. You know, I'm gonna click here, hit shift, then hold on option or alt to copy that up. So now that is looking killer. It's looking a lot, a lot better. Same thing up here. You can grab this, you can copy this up. Now that's looking a little bit intense. So let's, let's paint out some of the top layer here, just like that. Looking really cool, okay. And then another thing, once you've placed uh, lightning on top of the image, you wanna start putting lightning below the model. So some on top, some below. So let's go here, let's see if we have another cool layer we can put over the top. Okay, Let, let's get, let's bring this layer in right here. And I actually want to put one more over the top here. So I'm gonna put this on the very, very top layer, make sure it's not a clipping mask. And we're going to hit Command T, right click and flip this horizontal. So something like this. I think that'd be cool. Hit Enter. Call this L3. We're going to mask this out now. And then mask out that building, obviously. Right there, mask out the edges. Bam, turn this to a screen blending mode. Bring up this curves layer, copy down, perfect. Okay, so now let's sort of put this in a good position here. So something like that's kind of cool. And then we're going to mask out a little bit more of this right in this area. So hit B on the keyboard, make sure you're on your mask and you're on a black brush and we're just going to be very precise with this and sort of mask around the hand, just like that. And then I wanna mask out maybe a few other of these pieces because it looks a little bit too intense. Okay. So once you have your overlay layers, uh, we we've obviously haven't focused on the hair yet, but once you have these layers down here, you can see how, how cool that is and how simple that was. Really, it's just placing um, you know, the lightning on top, adding some uh, blending modes, you know, warping it, a few other things like that. Now we're gonna place things behind. So I'm gonna grab this top layer right here, and I'm gonna hold on Option or Alt, and I'm actually gonna drag this down. I'm holding on my cursor, I'm gonna drag this down below the image, or below, I, I keep saying image, below the model. So see how it's below the model? Now you can start placing it in cool places. For example, let's actually hit Command T and I'm gonna right click and go flip horizontal. And we're going to put this like down here. 
it's just very, very slight. You can see what that's doing. Very, very slight. You can do something, something like that. And you're basically going to do this a lot. Okay, we're we're going to go around the whole image, and we're going to be placing these pieces of lightning below at different areas. So see that it's just creating like a lot cooler effect. I'm just copying this over. And be careful to not have the lightning look the exact same. Since you're copying it over, you have to kind of like warp it a little bit. So like on this, this layer right here that I just put under, I'm gonna go edit, transform, warp, and I'm just gonna warp this down. So it's just, it just has this little piece right here that looks kind of cool. And yeah, like I said, you're just gonna be doing this over and over and over again like around the hair here, go warp this. I'm going really, really quick. Oops, make sure you're just on this layer. Go edit, transform warp. You're gonna warp down that little piece right there. Bring it out like that, cool. I'm gonna bring this over and hit Command T. We're gonna flip horizontal and we're gonna do a, a vertical flip. So it's looking, so it looks a little bit different. Okay, now up here on the hair, this is, this is a little bit tricky because um, initially in this image, it's, it's really yellow. You know, it's like yellow lightning, it's not blue lightning. So very simple though. Um, what you wanna do on each one of your layers here is go down here to color balance. Actually, let's not do color balance. Let's do, let's do hue saturation. So create a hue saturation layer above each one of these lightning layers and you're going to change it to like let's just go all the way to 180 okay so once you've done it once you can literally copy this down and bam see it's going to affect right there and then you do the same thing to maybe some of these layers right here so So once you place the lightning, one of the most important things is matching the color of the model with the lightning. So let's go down here to the model and start adding some color to her. Now we're going to add three different layers. First is going to be a hue saturation. Next is going to be a color balance layer. And then next we're going to create a layer called highlights. And make sure your highlight layer is turned to a overlay blending mode. Now I'll explain each one of these in just a second. So make sure though that they're clipping masks so they are only affecting the layer below. So first one, hue saturation, we are going to take out some of the color. So it's not, um, so see if it's like, I mean it's okay if it's really colored like this, but there's, there's so many colors everywhere. We want to really sort of desaturate this slightly. And then on top, we want to focus on our colors. This is where we're going to add in some of the colors. We're going to go, we're going to add in some reds just like that. Let's see highlights. Let's add in some yellow highlights. Let's actually go back to the mid-tones. Let's add more. Let's see reds, blues. It's just basically going back and forth. Let's see how this looks. I actually like more blues. That's looking a lot better. Let's go highlights. Let's add in a little bit more highlights here. A little bit more red highlights. So backing up, this is what these two layers have done. So see how it's going from dull to bam, it's matching a lot more. Now I actually like that layer right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another color balance layer because I, I still feel like it needs more color. So let's add in, uh, no, let's see, let's see. Maybe it needs more highlights. Yeah. Some yellow highlights look nice. Mid-tones. Maybe right around there. Okay. Okay, now let's actually go to our curves layer and let's start matching. Let, let's add a little bit of contrast here. The contrast, bring this up. A little bit less. You don't want to add too much. Tiny bit of contrast right there. And then on top of this, let's add one more 
color balance layer to see. Let's see, I can turn off my hue saturation layer. Let's add a little bit more yellows, a little bit more reds to this. Go to our highlights and let's add some yellows, a little bit of reds. Go back down to midtones. Okay, so let's make it pop a lot more. Okay, so we have all of these layers right here that are making this image pop. Um, let me show you before and after. Once again, before, look how dull that looks, then after, bam, things are matching a lot better. Now, the last thing to matching the color would be this highlight layer. Make sure it's on an overlay blending mode. Now, highlight layer, we're going to go to our brush. We're gonna pick a, like a yellowish color so somewhere that's too green, let's go like a yellow, orange, somewhere right around here. Make sure that it's a little bit bright. Okay, you don't want it super dark colored. It has to be a little bit bright here, just like that. Then we're gonna go into this and we're gonna start painting in right around the hair. See how this is creating some really crazy highlights. Now this is, this, I'm doing this, it's a little bit messy. So we're gonna fix that in just a second. You want to go right around here, painting at about 30% opacity. So right there, whenever there's like lighting effects, one of the biggest mistakes photographers or digital artists make is they, they don't put the highlights on to the image. So something like this. Because obviously if it's really bright, if this is like true bright lighting, it's going to put some sort of a like a color cast on top, you know, it's gonna shoot off highlights onto her skin, onto her hair. Okay, there you go. So I'm actually going to erase, see how I got some of that yellow on her head right there. Let's, let's just erase, I'm on my eraser at about 20% opacity. See my eraser right there. Let's just go right like this, just erase some of that on the skin. And there you go. Let's erase some on the hair so it's not super, super intense. See that? It just added a little bit extra, and you can actually, if you want, you can take this layer slightly down. Just right around there. So there you go, that's how you create a really cool lightning Photoshop effect. Now to create a full on image like this, you, you need a lot more than just creating the effects. You need to know how to shoot it, how to create the backgrounds, how to do final coloring, how to create the text. So what I've done is I've actually created a free tutorial on how to create this image and you can get it by just clicking the link below. And once again, remember to subscribe to this channel to get more videos like this and I'll see you guys on the next video.